Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Weebly for Education to create a classroom blog that you and your students can maintain. Now, Weebly has a lot of features. It can also be used as a digital portfolio tool or just a standalone website tool. Uh, now I'm here at education.weebly.com. I've already signed in and registered for my initial account. Accounts are free for teachers. And let's create a class. We'll call it Mr. Burns class. We'll select our grade level. And we can decide if we want to have student sites public or private. And you can change them up if you want to. Uh, but for now, I'm going to make them public. Let's go ahead and create the class. Now let's add a student. And we'll set a password for the student. And this is a great thing about Weebly for Education is that you can manage your student accounts, including resetting their passwords if they forget them. Let's add another student. And we'll add Jess's password there. And you can have up to 40 students in a free account. If you need more than that, you can purchase more space or you can get some space by referring a friend to use the service as well. All right, now let's go ahead and select sites and let's create a site. And we'll be asked here what is the focus of our site and we're going to say this is a blog. And now we'll choose a theme for the blog and as you can see up there at the top you can change it at any time if you if you decide you want to use something different. Let's use the clean lines here. And now on this page we'll be asked to choose a domain for our blog. Now you can purchase a custom domain if you want to or you can use for free the Weebly subdomain. Let's say Mr. Burn and students that's available and we'll continue now we want to write our first blog post so over here in the bottom right corner you'll see new post we can give it a, a title Let's say welcome to class and now to write something in the blog post itself we need to drag in a block of text and now we can start writing. Welcome to class. We will use this space to share things that we learn throughout the year. And of course, you can hyperlink anything you want to in there. And you have some options for customizing the size and style of the text. And if I wanted to add a picture in here, I'd click and drag the picture element and put that into place. Now I can upload an image. Now you can do a search for images. You can also upload something. Let's upload a picture that I have on my desktop. And maybe I'll do something like this. Right. So there's my first blog post. Right. And we'll click over here, post. And now it's live. And you can hit the publish button as many times as you want. And our site is published. Right? So the whole site is Mr. Burn and students.weebly.com. And then each individual blog post will have its own URL as well. If I want to write another post, I can click new post. Over here on blog settings, I can take a look at uh, how many posts I want to appear on each page. If we want to be able to socially share the post, you can turn those on. Of course, if you want to customize that, you can say, do you want to share on Twitter or Facebook? Do you want a blog sidebar? Commenting, now this is important. We're going to use the default Weebly commenting system. Comment default option. So we're going to say require approval so that we can moderate that. We'll turn on moderation for spam. We'll use the CAPTCHA requirement. 
and we can say auto close comments after 30 days which is really handy for old blog posts so you don't end up uh, getting random people on the internet trying to spam you uh, so I'll just automatically close my blog post after 30 days and you can see do I want to be notified of new comments yes or no I have no selected because I have learned from experience with kids that if I have 30 kids in class and they all have to comment on a blog post I'm then going to, I'm then going to get 30 emails telling me I have blog post comments to moderate and I just don't want that many emails so let's go ahead and save that setting now let's go back to the site and if we want to customize the site itself right, let's change the site title change over here on the left hand side right? some various things about it we can say we want to yeah. about Mr. Byrne I'll take out this author part over here let's remove that part so let's say about Mr. Byrne let's say he teaches US history Now we can change the change anything we want about this site by simply selecting the section that we want to work on. Okay. We'll publish that. And we're good. Now let's go back and look at our dashboard. Let's edit this site one more time. We'll change it from my site to Mr. Byrne and students. We want to put a logo in its place instead. You know, if I had a logo for my class or wanted to put a picture up there, I can put that in its place. Maybe I want to put that in instead of the title. I can say turn that off if I want to. I'm going to replace the text again. Now we have the outline here of the site structure itself. Now anytime you want to add more to your site or to your blog, simply drag one of these elements into the blog and you can add those pieces in. If you want to add a video, you could drag over the embed code and then grab the video from YouTube. Uh, of course in your sidebar you can add all kinds of other things like blog categories and archives and blog feeds. Uh, and of course after you make any change hit the publish button to make sure that you publish your changes. And we'll go back here. And if you ever need to update your student accounts, just go back to my students. And you can add students or delete students if you just if a student drops out of your class, you want to delete that student, you can say deleted. And we'll go back there. So that's how you can set up Weebly for education to use in your classroom. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.